The next morning, hello there, I am Giant Quill with my Pokemon Mission Dungeon Red Rescue Team. In the last part, we took on Sinister Woods and beat, um, Gengars and Team Meanies, and then we also rescued Metapod, which is Caterpie's friend. So yeah, we're going to continue with the story today. This will be a short part, because it's in between part, between, like, missions, big mission dungeons and all that. Like, rescue mission dungeons, adventures and stuff. So yeah, Steven, good morning, let's do good again today. Um, hello? Uh, who could that be? Um, is this rescue team Grotto here? That's right. Huh? Wait, aren't you? It's a flashback. Awesome. I like flashbacks. Please help my friend. Please, I need help. Forget it. We are not about to work for that. But my friend needs a gust of wind. Please. Ah, uh, that's when Shifty, uh, you know, to finally took that rescue mission thanks to the help of team, Alakazam's team. Yeah, I remember now. Jump off, we saw you in Pokemon Square. We watched Shiftry agreeing to take on your rescue job. Yes, but Shiftry, he hasn't come back yet from the rescue mission. Oh, that, that's not good. Are you serious? Our friend Jump off got wedged between some rocks. We jump off can go anywhere if we catch a wind, but even though the skies are filled with thunder clouds, with thunder clouds, for some odd reason the winds ha haven't blown. Not even a breeze? That is strange. Shifter's leafy fans c can whip up powerful winds. We thought Shifter's wind would be able to dis dislodge our friend, but but Shifty hasn't returned. It doesn't sound like all that challenging of a rescue mission. It is strange. Oh, that's the spirit, Steven. You expressed your expression tells me you're ready. Okay, then we'll go look for them. Really? Thank you. No problem, you can count on us. Let's go, Steven. So, um, if you talk to Jump Up again, my friend is, she'll say that, um, er, he slash she, I don't know, will say, my friend is stuck in a place called Silent Chasm. I hate to burden you, but you're our only hope. Yeah, it's either Chasm or Chasm, but I don't know. I don't know, um, which one. It just depends. I want to visit Magnemite Electro again, and I'm going to take, look, um, I'm going to take Electro slash Magnemite on the next rescue mission again. So, yeah. And let's get back to our base, actually. Yeah, there we go. So, let's go prepare and do our daily rounds on Pokemon Square and all that. Okay, so, hold on, let's take a bite. Okay, I can actually go to the shops so without having to go to storage first. Bye. Okay, um... Mmm... I'll buy the bla- I'll buy a- I'll buy a blast seed and a big apple. No, I don't want to buy two boxes. There we go, big apple. Hopefully my two boxes has... Ah, oh, no, I have to go to the storage. That answered my question. I was like, hopefully my two... I have one space in my two boxes. So I can tuck the little kickly on. Let's store some items. So, let's see here. Um, Yeah, let's start from the side. Keep that. I'm going to keep another reviver seed. Um, Just one, I think. That would be good. Um, More berries. Cherry berries I'll keep. Um, apple, yeah, apple, one berry, keep a petri berry, I guess, but other than that, all the other stuff should go in the, you know, the storage, and yeah, I uh, just, I'm gonna carry on all these items just cause I wanna be safe and hopefully it'll work out, so let's go to the other shiny kickly and see what the TMs or orbs they're selling, so yeah, bye. Okay, first shift and thief, or back orb, escape orb, I believe that was. Was I right, escape orb? Yeah, okay. Nothing interesting there, for me at least. Let's go to the Persian bank. I'm gonna say Persian bank, it's the Felicity blank, because I can't even pronounce that right. So let's store the remaining of our pokey. Oh, there we go. And. Talk to Lombre again. We heard Shifty hasn't returned. I wonder, did Shifty movie just run off? I don't know. I'm, a, I'm afraid Shifty's team is always about the money. Um, they want out on that rescue only because Alakazam told them to. I don't think they were very enthusiastic about it. 
Yeah, didn't seem like they were at all, to be honest. Let's talk to Wishgash real quick. It's good to see the youngsters back. I heard you saved them. Getting through the, du the dungeon must have been very taxing on you. I'm also grateful for what you've done. Thank you. Well, hell, thanks, man. That means a lot. Uh, ins insidially, uh, incidentally, I think I'm guessing that I'm really bad with pronunciations. I've like the reading level of like a, a middle school, honestly. I don't know. I'm just bad. Okay. Um, I heard. I've heard. I have heard of a particularly challenge. Particularly challenging. Um, dungeon somewhere in our world. It starts at, it starts level at one, which means you're just level one Pokemon, I guess. It clears all your gain stats. It empties your two box at the start. In other words, it focuses on two. It foc it forces one to enter in a completely clean state. I, it has never been conquered by any rescue team. It has earned its title as the ultimate dungeon. Perhaps your team will take on the challenge one day. Ho oh, ho. Yeah. Uh, I haven't been able to beat that dungeon. I've tried it like maybe once and I just, it was super hard. So I don't think I'll do this in the walkthrough guide. Do this in the walkthrough guide sadly because I'm just, it's a tough, it's a tough challenge, you know? Okay, here's Cali P. I can play with my, I can play with my, I can play with Metapod again. Thank you. What do you have to say, Metapod? Steven and Cody, thank you. You're welcome, guys. Glad to see you playing together again. If you go south of um the Pokemon Square, you can go to the Makita Dojo right here and you talk to Makita and he'll say this is the Makita Dojo through rigorous trainings one begets true power. I want a challenge or whatever. Uh which is to train. So I'm a water type and Cody is a fire type. So we're both good against um well Mmm, we're not, we're, both of our aren't really good against any teams, um, we see water maze, no, grass maze, well, that's a challenge, um, elk maze, no, well, I could do the, I don't know, fighting maze, flying maze, poison maze, bug maze, rock maze, dark maze, and steel maze, we could try the steel maze, let's try the steel maze, yeah. Um, this is just, um, the, your decision stands. Let's the training begin. Now, these are, like, little training, little, um, place where you can just train and stuff. And it's really helpful if you want to, like, boost up your levels and stuff. And, what, move dive on set again. Water gun, okay, cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna use water gun on this them. And right off the bat, Magnemite goes level. Now he's level 9, awesome. And, um, there's... Three fours in these little dojos. There's no items in these um, dungeons, so you don't get any items. But um, there's two fours of just like the normal Pokemon, and on the third four, there's like a boss fight where you fight like four of the same Pokemon or two uh, two of the same Pokemon and two of the s two of a different Pokemon but the same type, depending on what t uh, dungeon you're in. And I, the stairs are right there, but I want to actually just explore around just to get some more experience, because I feel like I'm under leveled right now, but I could be wrong. So. The Pokemon following us, there we go, it's an Aeron. He's hardened, let's use Water Gun on it, there we go. Nice. Okay, um, I use Bubble on this, um, Beldum right here, because it's a long range move. So there goes the Bubble. It missed, of course it missed. Try it again then. Second time is a chime, baby. There we go, nice. And... Go down here. I guess that's it for this floor. Let's get on the next floor. Okay, and that's just, no, I'm going to use a water gun, but okay. There we go, nice. And I might do some of these, um, tr uh, things off screen just so I can train, so. That's, uh, that's my plan, I guess. That's my plan. I have a plan right now for how to deal with these. Yeah, there's the stairs, but again, now we're just right to the boss floor. Or mini boss floor, I guess you say a boss floor still. It's not like an official boss, like in the, in the story progress and all that, but yeah. But again, I'm just taking on some of these um, Pokemon just so I can get a lot of experience and stuff. I might do some off screen before we go to Silent Trials and now that I think about it. It wouldn't hurt, you know. It's always good to be prepared in levels and stuff. So yeah. 
I think if you beat all of the, um, all of the, you know, dojos types, I think you get a reward which is like a statue outside your, your rescue team base, which is pretty cool, but I've never actually been able to, you know, successfully beat all of them, all of the, um, the dojos, but that's okay. It's just something you want to get, it's like an award, and it doesn't sound, it seems like a cool prize just to be on display and stuff, but it's up to you if you want to actually... These, these don't actually, um, you don't have to beat them all just to, to beat the game. I mean, these are totally optional, they're like side quests. That's good. Anyway, let's go to the third floor and take on the boss, I guess. Let's see on the third floor, what do we have? We'll probably have Aaron's. Both two Beldums and Aaron, okay. So what I want to do is, I want to start off with a bubble. And I think you can use items in this dungeon, or these little dungeons. Yeah, because I see my items also right here. I don't need it, so um, let's just use water guns, Aaron. Oh dang! <laughs> wow, Electro totally took out that Aaron. And let's use, let's just, just use water guns for them. And there we go. Makito will say, "Ah, you have successfully, you have succeeded in your training. You have shown your worth. Without a doubt, you have grown more powerful from your training." May that this success drive you to train even harder. Oh, well, that's good to know. Okay, um, I think we're done preparing for um the silent chasm or chasm, however you want to say it. So in the next part, we'll do um just that and take on uh the silent chasm slash chasm. Whatever, whatever. I want to check that stuff. Yeah, I still have a um, magnemite. If you when you're ready, you can just head south again and just hit silent chasm or chasm. But I'm gonna do some training off screen just because I feel like I'm under leveled right now. I could be totally wrong. Let me see my team real quick. Um, summary, level 14 for me. And yeah, Cody is level 12. Yeah, he's level 12. I wanna at least get everyone to like level 15 or 16, honestly. Just so it's there and stuff. And Magnemite's level 9. I'll probably get him to like level 11 or 12. But yeah. I am gonna have fun training off screen and then it shouldn't take too long because again there's those dojos only three four years long. So yeah. So this one Janko again, I would like to you again, goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Road Rescue Team. Um in the next part of my Pokemon uh, Mystery Dungeon Road Rescue Team walkthrough guide. In the next part of my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Road Rescue Team walkthrough guide. There we go. See you guys later.